check in with Paul. It's not power companies, but a mother nature we're worried about. Yeah, we're worried about the potential for dry lightning tomorrow. Far from a guarantee that storms are going to develop, far from a guarantee that even showers are going to develop. But we have monsoonal moisture that's been streaming in. The heat dome that brought today's 90s and low 100s inland has also been sending that monsoonal moisture from south to north across California. That combined with this little ripple in the atmosphere that's off the coast, it's going to trek right over the Bay Area. That combines to give us that chance of dry lightning with this and spotty, spotty thunderstorms as we head through the day on Wednesday. Day. That system moves to the north. The weather pattern calms down by Thursday and Friday, although high temperatures are going to remain above normal through the end of the work week. These types of situations are complicated, so let's break down what we know and what we don't know. Dry thunderstorms are going to be possible. It's the type of setup that favors the development of spotty showers, which can grow into actual thunderstorms. The reason they're going to be dry, the air near ground level is just way too dry for any moisture that falls out of these storms to not evaporate before it reaches the ground. The fire fuels are dry, very dry above 2,000 feet, where the marine layer over the past several weeks hasn't had any beneficial impact that far up in elevation. And the same storms that produced that dry lightning threat could also produce gusty winds that would fan the flames of any fires that could get started by the dry lightning. But we don't know Will the showers or storms even form in the first place? And if they do, are we going to see cloud to ground lightning strikes or is it going to be cloud to cloud lightning? The clouds just trading electricity with each other. That'd be the best case scenario other than just the storms not forming in the first place. But if these storms do develop and they do produce cloud to ground lightning, it's impossible to tell the specific location of any cloud to ground lightning strikes. Again, the bigger concern is that it's going to strike in those higher elevations where the fire fuels are really just ready to go. There are a few showers down to our south. So this is the area that we are watching for the development of some spotty showers as we head through the rest of tonight into early tomorrow morning. So we'll switch over to Futurecast. It shows that activity moving into the Santa Clara Valley even before the sun comes up early tomorrow morning. Now the timing of this wouldn't favor the development of cloud to ground lightning quite that early in the morning. It's going to be possible at any point in the day, just a lower threat that early in the day. The threat's going to lift from south to north as we head through the rest of the morning and into the early afternoon. Gradually, this is going to wind down from south to north. But at any point across the Bay Area, we could see a shower that could develop into a thunderstorm. That's going to largely shut down as we head towards mid to late afternoon on Wednesday. The same system that brings us that threat is also going to bring us some help in terms of air quality. Right now, it's still in the yellow and orange, especially farther inland, indicating moderate to unhealthy for sensitive groups air quality. But this is going to help to stir the atmosphere around. And we should be in the yellow category across the board tomorrow. And we're going to see more green on the map as we head through the rest of the week. So it's not entirely a bad thing that the system is moving through. We just have to watch for that dry lightning threat. There's fog along the coast. That's going to be with us the rest of the night. Temperatures are still anywhere from 58 in San Francisco to 82 and 83 in Livermore and in Concord. It is still very warm inland in the East Bay, but it's not going to be as hot tomorrow. Temperatures inland only dropping down into the 60s while around the bay and along the coast will fall to the 50s. Highs tomorrow still above average, but mostly 70s around the bay, 60s along the coast with a mix of 80s and 90s inland and the hottest spots only reaching up into the upper 90s instead of above 100 degrees. Baby steps towards more reasonable temperatures. We're going to be back to near normal once we hit the weekend. That means 60s and 70s around the bay and mostly 80s farther inland. But tomorrow's our first alert weather day because of that potential for some spotty thunderstorms bringing that dry lightning threat. We will have our eyes glued to the radar as we head through Wednesday. Charlie.